Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon and Leo Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for August 20th to August 26th, 2018. So uh, the Tarot spread first go and um, the first card that represents the um, topic for you Leos for the week that <clears throat> the second card uh, here, the second position that represents the uh, core of the situation third position uh, resembles the challenges that you need to overcome for the duration of the week and the last card here will uh, represent the guidance that you should adopt following that particular week so let's see what you got here for the topic now this is going to be the Queen of Cups and as the Queen of Cups falls as the topic of the week it, this will be a rather very peaceful and calm week moving on forward as this card rather resembles more to planning the future rather than participating into an, any activity. Now <clears throat> career wise or relationship wise this week you are likely to contemplate upon your emotions trying to figure out um, what is the best for you moving on forward with your future and uh, it is unlikely that you are going to kind of um, exert any newness either into your career, career or either into your relationship as the Queen of Cups it's more prone to um, kind of attend to its current ongoing undertakings rather than to try uh, rather than to uh, try involve itself with um, new activities therefore you can expect that week to be totally totally normal uh, in which you will have more free time let's say that way for yourself so you can um, <clears throat> you can indulge yourself with your emotions and uh, by you cherishing uh, your emotions and following them it is likely that you're going to find yourself as well transformed and much more happier than before and uh, the situation here the core of the situation that we do have that is going to be the tree of pen uh, the tree of uh, cups excuse me so uh, it's uh, this card the appearance of that card as a core of the situation it is a, a sign that uh, your things you know your undertakings are likely to go exactly as planned as a matter of fact this card there it does represent that the very first uh, results are starting to appear and they will become uh, rather visible for you and um, <clears throat> This will, this is going to encourage you to push even harder with your ongoing undertakings rather than to um, distract yourself with something different, with something additional. Uh, uh, when we're talking about these couple of cards, especially orientated in relationship, it does look like that uh, it will be a, a preparation before a, a very big commitment here, before a, a very big jump moving on forward. Uh, this card, these couple of cards may uh, reside to proposal of engagement, for proposal of marriage as well, you know, and uh, in general these um, these couple of cards for one relationship or for one career are a sign that you are truly going to start involving yourself more into those kind of undertakings which are uh, creating a, a, great, a great amount of pleasure uh, within you rather than to involving yourself into a, activities of stagnation and activities which are making yourself feeling poignant about the um, <clears throat> about the circumstances and about the unfoldment of the undertaking. So uh, having these couple of cards, Leos, this week, as I said, is going to be uh, very calm, very peaceful here as your uh, efforts, your work and... Um yeah, the efforts, what I meant here, especially for one relationship, are really going to start giving uh, it their results um, to the plate and uh, um, you will be able to start collecting the fruits of your labor here with these couple of cards. Of course, because this is the Tree of Cups, I mean, the, um, the final reward, it is far from being obtained at this very moment, but you are getting there, Leo. It is just a uh, consistency. It is uh, the name of the game here, which means that you need to keep up uh, to keep keep it up with your performance that you are exerting thus far. 
Now the next card here represents the challenges that you need to overcome for the duration of the week. This is going to be the Ace of Pentacles. So the, the Ace of Pentacles, it is a about synchrony, it is a about um, harmony, especially talking about relationships and it is a about a, um, how can I place it, um, about the solid solid foundation so that is going to be the challenge here so um, for what it seems uh, even though your own going undertakings are rather giving up a results the ace of pentacles here points that you would wish that uh, these results would have been a little bit bigger you know at this particular stage now that doesn't mean that they aren't going to be, but it needs a little bit more time. So as the Ace of Pentacles is a, a prolonged uh, period of time as well, because the Pentacles are the slowest moving tarot cards uh, for the future. I mean, that means uh, here that even though, you know, your performance is, way, is very good, is exceptional, even though things are, are moving on smooth, um, smoothly without any predicaments still you know the speed of um, of how the events are, are unfolding and how the circumstances are happening isn't going to be satisfiable and according to your liking and this is kind of understandable i mean you are a fire sign and what we do have here are only watery and uh, uh, earthly cards which are very passive which are very on point or uh, standing uh, staying on one point until everything is settled down until everything is um, kind of attended to etc etc so uh, instead of being frantic because the appearance of the ace of pentacles into that position may put you into a frantic state where without even knowing what has to be uh, added as a versatility into your environment you know and into your daily routine you may try to add new enterprises in there and none of them actually will really um, contribute uh, for your well-being so um, what the point is here guys Leos is that you need to count your blessings right now and attend to them rather than to seeking new blessings to add into your additional ones because these blessings that you do have at this very moment are not exactly um, developed to, a, to their full, uh, full potential and you need to focus that week on developing those uh, those blessings and those means that you do have at your behalf and the uh, uh, final card here pointing to the um, guidance that you should follow for the duration of the week now we do have the ten of wands and this card um, is telling you that you have to be a little bit more tenacious that you have to be a little bit more bruisey upon um, upon your current situation and upon your current undertakings here that are now starting to give results and you need to instead of adding new enterprises you have to take on uh, <coughs> additional responsibilities regarding those undertakings so it's kind of like improving the quality it's kind of like improving the aims of the frame of that um, of that undertaking you have currently working on all right instead of you know adding a completely new one the ten of wands here represents that you have to uh, occupy yourself to the very limit if I may say that way with everything that you're currently working on and um, <clears throat> Uh, everything that you're working on needs to be uh, kept on track what I mean is that you should not abandon one activity for the expense uh, for the sake of other but you need to attend to every single kind of activity that you are undertaking at this very moment <clears throat> you know um, so that being said you have to kind of like oblige to the responsibility that you have started something you know back in the future like started to uh, work toward for example engagement you know you have started to work toward a certain project into your career etc etc and now because you're feeling a little bit stagnated because there is no versatility in there that doesn't mean that you have to drop uh, this 
activity that you have started back in the in the in the past just on the contrary you have to accept it. it's a very important responsibility big responsibility on your shoulder uh, on your shoulders and if needed here you have to give it a, a double time um, <clears throat> also the ten of wands here points that you can use uh, this good performance you have gave thus far to obtain a certain um, authority to obtain um, a certain power if I may say that way over people and over situation that is entirely up to your choosing here should you do it or not but um, in general this card points that you can become a, a very valuable asset here if you attend uh, with the responsibility toward the undertakings you are currently doing and then the Lenormand cards here are pointing to uh, the rider then we do have the home or the house and afterwards this is going to be the star so what happens here is that a, a new information regarding your home or family is going to give you a um, the star it's like a guidance all right but in that particular case it's going to help you to make a decision or to find the right way to approach a certain situation or to find a solution to a certain situation so if you are feeling rather baffled uh, regarding a certain um, activity into your family and regarding your home uh, in general for example you may uh, be one you, you may wonder what which house to purchase here or should you reallocate into a new home etc etc and uh, there could be a circumstances at this very moment which are depriving you from uh, realizing what exactly you need to do in this particular week here there will be a new info information coming in which is going to give you clarity upon that uh, upon that matter regarding your home or and family so that being said, Leos, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for August 20th to August 26, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you are interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.